Welcome to this session on Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, AZ900. This exam is designed for candidates looking to demonstrate foundational level knowledge of cloud services. This exam is for both non-technical people as well as for technical people. For those who would like to understand how various cloud service offerings in Azure work together. For people who are involved in selling and purchasing cloud-based solutions. For people with technical background who need to validate their foundational level of knowledge around cloud service offerings provided by Azure. In this course, we'll learn about various cloud concepts such as the benefits that cloud services will provide to your infrastructure, the differences between private, public, and hybrid computing, what are the differences between IaaS, PaaS, and software as a service. We'll also understand the core Azure architectural components where you will know where is Azure data centers located in the world. You can describe some of the core product services in Azure. So you will know the differences between a virtual network or a load balancer, the difference between a VPN gateway and an application gateway. What is cloud network doing or what is content delivery network? Different kinds of storage solutions provided as in today like blob storage, disk storage, file, and archival storage. You'll also learn about the REST APIs that can be run on an Azure background with Azure CLI or PowerShell. Are there any advisory tools available in Azure? Can we use them to provide recommendations to make our infrastructure better in Azure? The most important thing is the security, privacy, and compliance part of it, which covers about 30% in the examination. We'll understand different kinds of firewalls, how Azure is protecting against DDoS attacks, and what are our responsibilities as far as protection security is concerned. We can also describe different tools like Azure Security, Key Vaults, Azure Information Protection, and Azure Threat Protection. How about compliance? Is Azure compliant for GDPR, ISO, NIST? How about governmental standards and compliance organizations or bodies like FedRAMP, which is Federal Risk Assessment Management Program? We can also understand if Azure is determined to make sure that all business are compliant when required. Another important aspect is pricing. Today we are moving to the cloud to reduce on the capital expenditure. Is there any way we can find the total cost of ownership? Is there a pricing calculator that can tell me how much will my virtual machine cost on Azure and how much is it costing on premise? Can a comparison be done? What are the services I should pay for and what are the services that are free? How about the data transfer, network, ingress and egress traffic? Is that free or should I pay for it? So we will understand how Azure does the cost management and also how you can do charge back to your businesses. It's also important to understand the life cycle in Azure when services are being provided, when new features are being rolled out to Azure, how do we implement them in our cloud infrastructure? How do we monitor the feature updates? How can I raise a ticket to Microsoft just in case if I ever have issues? This is a foundational level course in Azure, one of the first entry level certification which will help you understand the cloud concepts, the Azure service offerings that it's providing as on today, security, privacy, compliance, and trust options it has, and also, not the least, Azure pricing and support.